Hey guys, all right, so I, we're gonna do content today, again, like I've said in the past. Um, I was kind of thinking through some of the things that I wanted to do for videos, and I decided that we're gonna do my favorite, easiest, smoky eye. Have I talked about this before? I sure hope not, I'm gonna go check, how about that? Okay, so no, we are in the clear, and I'm gonna use today the Sleek Makeup Palette and Vintage Romance. Okay, and basically we're focusing on these two shades right here, okay? I'm gonna use this as a transition shade, but any shade that you have that is sort of a mid-tone, medium, neutral type, brown or warm as the case may be. And again, if you, we're talking about these two shades right here, so this one is a bit more uh, cool slash neutral. So um, we've got sort of a taupey shade there, and then this one is very, very similar. It's just a little bit warmer. So if you want to have a warm look, use the warm. Cool look, use the cool. Um, and I think that's pretty much self-explanatory. I think we're also going to do a little bit of uh, last chance makeup as well. So we'll just get to it. And I think today, I just want to pick this out. I'm going to use, give this one a last chance. This is the Full Cover 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer from Kiko Milano. Okay. I didn't love this, didn't look great on my skin. It was a little bit too fair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with, it worked good. I used this the other day though as a concealer in this little hollow of my eye right there and it worked well for that. So um, I don't know that this product is necessarily a terrible product. It just didn't work for me, for my full skin because it got uh, really caked up in my pores. I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation because the shade is a bit dark for me. So we're trying to even out for skin tone purposes. And I'm just gonna mix those two together until we get the correct shade. And as a bit of a primer today, I have got the Neutrogena Pure Screen Mineral UV Tint Face Liquid Tinted Sunscreen. Doesn't Not providing much of a tint, but it is a little bit sticky and a little bit shiny. So, all right, let's just get this on. I think the uh, bourgeois foundation still a bit dark from that bourgeois, but um, it's a little bit uh, scented. It smells good, but I don't usually like scents in my foundations. But I will say that I do use this foundation a lot to adjust shades because it's one of the darker ones that I have. It's not too much. For coverage but it does help to change the shade. And if it looks like I'm putting like a ton of foundation on, I usually like to have a bit more coverage with a sort of dramatic eye look because for me it's like I've got so much it just brings out all my flaws if the eye look is real dramatic I don't know it just like makes my redness redness look more red it makes my uneven skin look more uneven and as far as this foundation goes um I feel like it's displaying my texture quite a bit because it is uh a bit on the glowy side and I honestly don't know if that's due to the Bourjois or the Milano, Kiko Milano. All right, as far as the skin looks, I, I think it actually looks good. I'm going to sort of thin out the coverage around my eyes. Because my eyes are like the most, I don't know, old looking part of my skin. And I just find that like, I just have to be really thin with the product. So it's almost like high coverage, but thin, you know, is the best way to go so that it's not too, what's the word I'm looking for? Too obvious on the skin, but yet it gives you the coverage that you need, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer, and I'm actually gonna mix it with a little bit of this, because it's just a pinch too dark, even for a color correcting and all that. I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of the foundation that we've been using, the Kiko Milano. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of the foundation again. And it's kind of nice because if you can use it as a foundation and concealer, you've got the wand, so that 
just does help for precise placement. I'm going to take a little tiny bit more of the concealer and just put it right here. Sometimes that's a little bit dark, even though I do, I get concealer all in this whole area, like my entire face needs concealing, so I really do get it everywhere. Okay, and now something that I don't usually show, but that I do occasionally when I feel like I've got a lot of not makeup on, but like a higher coverage type foundation is I'll take a Q-tip and actually just run it through my brows to remove any, let's see, I don't know if you can see that, but sometimes the foundation, concealer, all that stuff gets in there and then it just becomes a crusty looking mess. I'm going to actually make sure that most of the foundation slash concealer, all that stuff is off of my eye, like my eyelid. I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a, an eye primer today. This is the Essence Prime, like a boss eyeshadow base. The eyeshadows usually don't crease, but if there's any sort of concealer slash foundation on my eyelid, it will crease and it's just not cute. Yeah, so we've got the primer on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take um, this medium brown shade. And this is gonna be like the easiest, most beginner friendly, um, smoky eye. I do this all the time, especially when I'm running late, but still want to like have a bit, not like a dramatic, it's not really that dramatic, but it's just an, it's just, it's a little bit more than nothing. It's still, I feel like it's still kind of effortless, but it sort of packs enough of a punch for me for what I'm looking for. And I think, I don't know. I love both of these shades so much. I'm not sure which one to use. Give me a minute. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the taupier colored one, this one. Okay, and I'm really just going to dab it on. And because of the depth, it's not like a very, it's metallic, so it's shimmery, but because of the depth, it sort of still gives you that smoky eye look, but it's got that shine in it. It's, it's sort of like, it does the look for you so you don't have to do like 10 minute highly structured eye look but you still get that effect and I'm going to just dust off any all right and honestly that's basically it now if you wanted to step this up a notch you could use a darker liner and sort of smudge it out on the edge I the only thing extra that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a smudging brush this is an elf smudging brush and I'm just going to smudge like a tiny bit of the transition shade on my lower lash line right here just a tiny bit I think maybe next Friday I'm going to do another makeover uh, sort of thing. Uh, another Monica Blender. She's just so good. Like, I love her makeup looks. Like, she does some really good ones. And they just seem like they're just easy for me to follow and easy for me to do. But there's one that I love. And, but instead of, like, changing it, I'm not going to change it at all. We'll just do it exactly how she says and we'll just see how it actually looks on me. So, and then we can kind of get an idea of, like, whether these makeup looks work for anybody any age. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to use the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Waterproof Mascara, which is not waterproof, but uh, we're going to use it anyway. I don't know, but um, just a lot of these mascaras have just been really bothering my eyes recently. And uh, so I can't really think off the top of my head of any of the mascaras that I've got in my collection right now, one that's not going to burn my eyes. So I just decided to use this one since I feel like, have I not used I don't even know. I feel like I haven't used this in a while, but maybe I have, I don't know. And I'm going to curl my lashes at the end, never fear. They will be curled. So I'm going to go ahead and use the She Glam Sun Sculpt Li Liquid Contour. This is in the shade uh, Golden Sun. Okay, and I'm not going to put it on my face because I find that when I put it directly on my face and just stamp it on, it removes some of the makeup underneath. 
So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put some on my hand. Seems a little bit warmer than I was remembering. And then I'm going to use this Elf Small Stipple Brush to get it on and then apply it. I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this She Glam powder, the under eye powder to under my eyes. And I don't know if you can see, but like my eyes still look pretty dark underneath, like dark circle-y. Um, and I don't think that's the best look for um, when you're doing a smoky eye. So uh, lesson learned, am I right? Like just make sure you don't have too many dark circles going on. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna do a really light dusting of a little bit more of a contour shade with a powder. This the is Revolution the... uh, Pro HD Powder Contour Palette. And I think I'm going to use this shade right here. All right, and since I haven't used either of these in a while, I'm also gonna use the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. This is the original version. I think they've like repackaged. I don't know if they've reformulated, but they have repackaged. So this is in the shade Risky Business. I feel like it's neutral, but it might, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments, like whether or not you think this is a neutral blush. All right, so we are blushed up. Now I would usually do a nude lip for a look like this. So it's hard to do a hyper nude lip um, on my lips because they are a little bit pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this uh, Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. And I have got a lot of hyper pigmentation around my lips, so it's almost as though it's a natural lip liner, so it works for me. Um, but if you wanted to, you could like put a little bit of a lip liner on and you know, darken the edges and all this and that how all the cool kids are doing these days but that's all I've got for you guys except the curling of the eyelashes you thought I forgot didn't you you're right I totally forgot <laughs> oh I'm just not a big eyelash curler and all you eyelash curling police out there I don't want to hear it it does look cute though but I just curled this eyelash like two seconds ago. It's ready to fall. They just don't stay curled. It is what it is. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding that bell, leave me some comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.